Ladies and gentlemen, it is golden ticket season. Now, if you haven't seen the Wheel of Mutt NFC Championship, by the way, if you haven't seen that, rethink every life decision you've ever made. But if you haven't seen it, you guys should know that I actually pulled a golden ticket in a fan appreciation pack. And granted, this was before EA came out with the very coveted training variety pack. If you guys remember last year, I spent two million training on training variety packs, and I believe I pulled six, maybe seven golden tickets out of that two million. So these packs are awesome. Everybody knows that. It's a really cool way to potentially get a golden ticket. It contains one of the following. An alternate uniform, an 87 plus overall Ultimate Legends player, a common or better strategy item, or a 99 overall golden ticket. So there's less variety than there was last year, but that's what we're rocking with. Now, keep in mind, since this pack exists, it has kind of changed the golden ticket market. It's a lot easier to get him. When I pulled that CJ Gardner Johnson at Wheel of Mutt, he cost two and a half million coins because nobody could get a golden ticket. So I just wanted to put in perspective how crazy that pull was. Either way, not why we're here today. Today, listen, I almost recorded this video yesterday because I was so busy today, but I knew that new golden tickets were dropping. The pull rate was increasing. And look at this stupid shit. I don't know exactly what golden tickets drop. They, they're releasing them in waves. I know that Ben Denu who's fucking Ben Denucci. Gold 99 Josh Gordon, the weed man himself. And I know that there's a gold 99 Scrambler Cam Newton and I'm pretty sure the Cam Newton is the best card in this drop. That Cam Newton is disgustingly good. Beggars can't be choosers. I would just love a golden ticket, but I'm really gunning for the Cam Newton. Here's what I want to do right now. Let's open some regular packs. Just for fun, I've got six fan appreciation packs. And as you guys know, I pulled a fucking golden ticket in this before the odds were even good. I also pulled it when the odds rates were not increased. I pulled that shit at like 0.001%. It was nuts. And it was all for Wheel of Mutt, baby. It was all for Wheel of Mutt. Also want to give a huge thank you to the best ticket app in the world, SeatGeek, for sponsoring today's video. As you guys should know by now, live events are back, and SeatGeek has the tickets for everything. NBA playoffs, upcoming NFL games, getting really excited for that. Concerts, festivals, whatever. If it needs a ticket, probably on SeatGeek. The best thing about the app is it takes tickets from all over the web and puts them in one location to make buying simple. So before you buy a ticket for an event, make sure you have SeatGeek on your phone, and you can use my code MMG for $20 off your first order at Seeky. Again, it's $20 off your first order at Seeky. Code MMG. Download the app. Link in the top of the description and enjoy the rest of the video. All of the five times fan appreciation bundles and then I'm gonna go spend a stupid amount of training on training variety packs. I'm not gonna put a number on it because to be honest, if I open like 750k training and get zero golden tickets, I might throw in the towel. As much as I love a good old fashioned gambling addiction, I think I should know when to stop at this point. He says as he gives money to electronic fucking arts. Boys, without further ado, I haven't done an official golden ticket hunt. So we're going on it right now. Maybe the Wheel of Mutt luck carries over. Maybe not. Let's find out today, boys. First pull of the day is Buddha Baker. Is that good or bad? Jordan Poyer. We got the safeties on deck. Austin Hooper. Xavier Rhodes are closed. Uh-oh. Usually I use the first pack as like my my superstition. You know, it sets the tone. I don't know how I feel right now. Literally, I will fund your, I will pay your college tuition if you can pronounce that last name without looking it up and having never heard it before. Rex Burkhead, Anthony Brown, ooh, Kevin Green, and we do get a Super Bowl player. Hopefully this is a good one. Yes. I can't talk shit about fan appreciation bags anymore because mine were literally so cracked. But like, am I supposed to feel appreciated right now? Larry Wilson, I got a Christmas player. Deion, I, I do like the variety though. Deion Dawkins was on Wheel of Muzz. Gilmore Turner, Halapulavati Vitae. I'm getting nasty at that pronunciation. Jim Kelly, Moster, Charles Woodson. Yikes. Devin DuVernay. Oh, big animation. Big animation. <laughs> Guys, I'm extra excited about this. You probably saw my vlog where I announced the pick, but Garrett Wilson fucking watches the videos and he's a stud. And he went pick 10. I fucking love Garrett Wilson. This is the best pull I could have gotten. Let's go. Oh, that's fucking sick. All right, yeah, this is gonna be a good opening now. I can tell you that, boys. Vitae Jensen and a rising star. 96 Trey Lance. Let's go. We're back in the saddle now, boys. Tredavious White, Mel Renfro, Wamis. Wamis Brown? Wamis, is that you? Junior Seau, 93. Derek Johnson, 93. 93 for Sean Slater. Another big animation. Hey! <laughs> Oh my god! Whoa! Gold 99 Saquon? 
I didn't expect that at all. Holy shit. Gold 99 Saquon. Damn, I could have done a nasty pack and play with this. All right, we got one more bundle of fan appreciation. We've got Garrett Wilson and Gold 99 Saquon. Holy shit. Draft promo is clutching for us right now. We're in poverty without the draft promo, though. Simmons, Jonah Williams, 95. It's Buda Baker for the third time. And Walter Jones, it's a sign or something, dude. It's a sign. Andrew Thomas, Rocky Sin, Roy Williams, Lattimore, and Nick Neiman. Logan Thomas, AJ Cole, Rex Burkhead. What do you got? What do you got? What do you got? David Irving. Nothing special. Hey, big animation here on Combine. 94 Bud Dupree. Nothing crazy. They're cooling down. At Oliver, Walter Jones, Marquise Pouncey, Carlos. What is that anime? Oh, that's Christmas, isn't it? Old. Oh, totally forgot about that one. Daryl Henderson. It's Zonklers! Our last fan appreciation pack has a Zonklers. Okay, I didn't get any golden tickets and fan appreciation packs, but we're on to variety after I open one fan appreciation pack with coins. Witherspoon, Davis, Curtis. I should have quit while I was ahead. That was such an L, I don't even want to talk about it. Training variety pack. Let's do this. We are gonna get a lot of these right here. Little training items. But we can also pull like insanely good Ultimate Legends players too. Got to keep that in mind. But really what we just gotta do is we gotta be patient. Cause we're gonna pull so much shit. Cowboys alternate classic unis, cool. And I was complaining about this before, but like why the fuck? Why do they release alternate uniforms at the end of the game? Like give me this shit earlier, bro. Rodney Harrison. At least if I get an Ultimate Legend player, I get some training back, you know? The good news, boys, is I don't really have to pay that much attention because if I get an animation, I get a player that's Ultimate Legends, like this, or it's a golden ticket, or it's a jersey or a whatever, strategy item. I refuse to get discouraged, okay? I refuse to get discouraged, but we're about 225,000 training in. We haven't pulled anything, but we have pulled a decent amount of Ultimate Legends. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go do the math here and see just how much training we've lost so far. The golden tickets are not supposed to be easy to pull. I understand that. Let's just sell all the players, not including the fan appreciation packs. Okay, Jersey's quick sell for 25 coins. That is so bogue, are you kidding? We've spent about 225,000. We get 60,000 back. So we're in the hole 180K. We do have some interesting strategy items and some cool jerseys, but whatever. Really, unless you're pulling a golden ticket, these packs are bogue. Also, I'd like to know the break even point. What overall is break even? 91 is seven. 7,000, so that's significantly over. 87, you lose about half, because that's 2,100. Oh, oh shit, what did I just pull? Wait, what did I just pull? <laughs> Let's go! I was looking down, and out of the corner of my eye, I saw way too much color. I knew something had to be up there. 97, Leonard Davis. Our first very legit pull of the opening. I'll take that. I am not complaining about that. Oh! Oh! I did it! <laughs> no shot! No shot on my first golden ticket of the training variety packs. It's the best one. Look at this cam! Holy shit! 6'5, 245. 96 speed on anybody's team team, that's 99. 99 throw power, 96 short, 99 mid, 98 deep. 99 throw under pressure, 99 throw on the run, 99 play action. By the way, this is one of the hardest looking golden tickets. Look at how sick that looks. There is no card art that even rivals Most Feared. Most Feared card art puts every other card art to shame. Holy shit, what a beast. He has 99 spin move, like what? Like why? 93 stiff arm, 99 ball carrier vision, so he's not gonna fumble. To be six foot five, 245, you could put escape artist, run around the edge, and you could truck through any single corner that is standing in your face. Holy shit. All right, so I will say, as much as I have spent about 300,000 training right now, if I were to quit right now, I would be up significantly just because of the Cam Newton pull. That would, 700,000 coins can get you so much training. I'm gonna hang on to it just in case I wanna use that Cam Newton ever. All right, boys, so 300,000, you know what's funny? <gasps> oh shit, I saw it already. I just back to back. <laughs> Holy shit. William Perry, dude, I have now pulled him legitimately twice. I pulled him in a pack and wheel him out earlier, and now I just pulled him right here back to back with Cam Newton. Before I say anything else, can we go three for? Can we go triple? Can we go triple? Can we go? Oh, we can't. Uh -huh. All right, 
whatever. What I was gonna say is if I did the math last year, it was on average I was pulling a golden ticket every 250,000 training. Here, what the fuck is going on? What is going on? Oh my God. Dude, we're so cracked. We're so cracked. That was out of four packs. All right, this is the point. Guys, if this happens to you, quit. Stop opening packs. If this has happened to you, just don't. I'm doing this for the content. I'm allowed to have a gambling addiction. You're not. John Hanna, William Perry, Cam Newton in four. But like I was saying, sorry, so I did the math last year. I was getting one golden ticket per 250,000 training on average. Sometimes you get more, sometimes you get less. I don't need to explain it to you. You guys understand basic fucking percentages, right? I will say, so this year, I feel like it's a little bit worse odds to pull the golden ticket. As you've seen, I pulled William Perry, John Hanna, and Leonard Davis, as well as a decent amount of 90 pluses. In the packs last year, you were not pulling Ultimate Legends like that, not even close. Every once in a while, you'd pull like a semi-decent series redux but overall last year it was pretty much golden ticket or nothing so i think the golden ticket odds are worse but you still have the chance to pull all this other stuff so point being i think these packs are actually a w if you got 300k training i would fucking yellow that shit also the third time i've got 93 overall zonka so it has to be a good sign really once i saw garrett wilson i knew this was a fat fucking w I can't believe I got Cam though, because bro, watch what happens when I pulled Ben DiNucci and he's worth nothing. A lot of these guys I don't think are gonna be worth a lot. I don't think Josh Gordon's gonna be worth that much. And now that I say it, I realize it was a little bit more than 300,000 training for Cam Newton because I used about 250 and then I sold that other stuff. There's probably more like 400,000 training for Cam Newton. So I don't wanna get ahead of myself. I'm happy that like this, I just got 96 Ozzy Newsome. So I still think these packs are kind of a W, but the golden tickets, they just ain't in there. Not not as much anyway. I can't wait till there's a golden ticket Vita Vea too. Like there's so much shit that I want. Oh shit, that pack just got relegated to hell. That pack that just didn't give me an animation was 97 Dave Robinson. Oh my God. We pulled so many 96 pluses already. Steelers 66, 67, oh my God. Do they have cool Lions unis? I don't know if they have any of the cool Lions unis, but I should probably get my hands on them if they do. Come on, baby. Oh, I can't wait. Dude, it's such it's such a rush of adrenaline when you see the golden ticket, that gold liquid spill in. I just want it, baby. Dude, some of these strategy items are cracked. I haven't pulled shit in the last like 150K training, but plus awareness and speed to both my DNs and outside linebackers is actually pretty damn good. Also block shed, like speed. I'm pretty sure you can get these strategy items for like wide receivers and running backs and add speed, which I'm sure everybody's known this whole year, but I'm just learning right now. Holy shit, I'm on a dry spell, dude. This is like me all of high school. Actually though, I haven't pulled shit. I might have been just too excited when I pulled Cam Newton, but if we do the math now, I have one golden ticket out of almost 750,000 training. Cause I started by 2.2 mil. I do have other good pulls, obviously we talked about that, but I don't know if I should recommend this to you guys. Right now I'd say it's a hard 50-50 whether you should do this or not. We'll see what happens in the next about 200,000 training. All right, boys, I have been on a streak of like, oh my God, since I pulled Cam Newton, I haven't pulled anything really other than like, I think it's a 96 right here. We pulled the John Hannon and such. I'm gonna hard stop myself at 1.2 mil training because I will go down the rabbit hole and just keep buying shit. But yeah, we gotta put a, we gotta put a cap on this because the Cam Newton's huge, but now I'm in the negative. I don't know what to say about training variety packs this year. They're actually pretty dope. I like that there's more than you can pull than just the golden ticket. Like I'm actually looking for the ultimate legends, but I also wish they potentially had series redux, like a little variety. It's called the training variety pack, right? There's only 87 plus ultimate legends. I feel like they should also include a chance to get an 87 plus series redux. That'd be kind of cool. You'd also get like a huge variety of players. So I don't know. The leg. Oh my God, this is a strategy item for uh -huh. kickers. And it gives them short throwing accuracy, medium throwing accuracy, awareness, kick accuracy, and kick power. You know what's funny? That could almost, if I ever did a meme video where I had a kicker at quarterback, that'd almost be useful. Yeah, 
Yikes, dude. I don't know, boys. I'm glad I didn't commit to going like, you know, two or three million training in. I think at the end of the season, I'm gonna do like a massive, like five million training opening. Like after everything's said and done, I'm gonna send it. I still have some season ahead of me. I don't wanna give too much away, but I do. Ah, no, I can't give it away. I can't give it away. Never mind. I'm not even gonna. You know what? You'll see. You'll see why I'm not willing to use this much training. You'll see it soon. But no, I am excited. We got we got Golden Ticket Cam Newton. I I couldn't be more excited than that. We'll see if I can just finesse a little golden ticket out of this final 94,000 training. If not, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sell everything that's not Cam Newton, and then I'm gonna see exactly what I'm sitting at uh, training wise. Yes, I am down the million training right now, but I also haven't sold any of the players that we pulled. Once we quick sell like all the 87s, 92s, and all that, we'll see exactly how clapped we got. Hey, wait. I I didn't see it. I didn't see it. Let's go. The final 100K's got a mud dick in it. Let's get it, boys. All right. I like that. I like that before we get out of here. 30,000 training left. I have about seven packs left. Yeah, exactly seven packs, actually. This is one of seven. Now it feels like an episode of Wheel of Mutt where I've only got seven packs and I got to pull some heat. Players is good. I feel like, do I just quick sell all the strategy items I got? You can't even sell those, right? I don't think you can auction those. I think anything that's not blue, I just quick sell. All right, these are our final three. Here's one. Not good. Cardinals, classic home unis. You know what's weird? We got Buddha Baker to start this opening. We're going to end with Cardinals unis. Although I do have one more bag. I can't say that. I'm jumping the gun. Our final player of the opening, Michael Vick. I'm not going to make the joke. All right, so down to 1.2 mil training. We only got one golden ticket and supposedly that is with the boosted pull rate. Do I believe that? Yeah, I don't know if there's really a boosted pull rate, but we did get the best golden ticket. So I can't really talk shit. Like this Cam Newton is a fucking monster. So I'm super excited about that. Let's quick sell all the players we got that are not the super good ones. I'll hang on to the 97s. Actually, no, I'm gonna quick sell them too. Cause I'm not gonna, I don't need the coins. I might as well just quick sell them as well. I'm sure they're not worth that many coins either because everybody else is doing the same thing. Let's just quick sell everything, see how much training that gets us back up to. And at that point, we'll basically be able to say how much training it costs to get one golden ticket and all the strategies and jerseys. So John Hanna's in there. Dude, look at this stretch. Cam Newton, William Perry, Hot Pursuit, and John Hanna. So a quick sell William Perry and John Hanna. That train lane, the rest of these guys, I might actually run out. Leonard Davis as well, insane pull. So I got 97 Leonard Davis, 97 Mike Ditka, 98 John Hanna, 98 William Perry, and then obviously Cam Newton. And after quick selling all the ultimate legends we get, damn, wait, damn, 775,000 training back. So honestly, what it really ended up being, so I started with 2.2 mil, that's 1975. So about 300,000 ish training for the gold 99 Cam Newton. We got a lot of it back and I haven't quick sold any of these yet. And I know these are kind of poverty, but they are a thousand coins a piece. So you might get like 50 to 100k back if you open a lot. I'm gonna quick sell everything that's not a blue or a uni. I like the unis. Quick sell 75 items for 251,000 coins. I just realized that the green ones and those like multicolored ones are worth more. Actually, what I got was I gained 250,000 coins and I lost 300,000 training and I got Cam Newton. I actually think they're a W. I really do think they're a W. The jerseys are fucking pointless. This should never be in a pack anyway. Just give us all the jerseys to start the game. So let's if, if they take that out and maybe put in like a chance at an 87 plus Redux, I think it'd be a huge W. But for now, I can live with it. Although I will say if I didn't pull Cam Newton, I wouldn't be talking at all. That shit would have sucked. So whatever. All right, boys. I love you. I hope you guys enjoyed. Big ass bag opening. I have tons of ideas. So many ideas for bangers. So I know we're coming down to the end of the Madden season. A lot of you probably don't play Madden anymore, but honestly, just for being here, that means the fucking world to me. We got Wheel of 2K. I'm gonna pull some bangers. I really got some cool ideas that I'm cooking up right now in my brain. But I love you guys. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.